Happy May Day, motherfuckers. <laughs> Spring is here and time for Stephanie to start interacting with yet another Jackson County, West Virginia prosecutor. Wow. You might say, what on earth would make it so that Stephanie, who doesn't live in West Virginia, hasn't for many years, what would make it so that I would have to interact with a prosecutor from there, huh? Hmm. <laughs> well, if any of y'all have been paying attention, which I know you weren't, because, ew, it's icky. No, Steph, that's your personal life. Mm. We want to know about your dad. That's not personal. Okay, whatever. Um, so, it wasn't personal. When I went through his shit and found a bunch of his personal shit mixed with his business shit and recognized that it was uh, mm, both. Yeah, it was his job my whole life. So it was always kind of both. <laughs> his grandchildren though, you're not interested in them. Uh-uh. That's personal. You wouldn't want to invade your personal life. Really? You wouldn't want to invade my personal life, huh? Then give me back my children, America. Well, at any rate. I reject your victim blame. I reject your pity. Your useless fucking cluck cluck. Does anyone offer me any help? No, no, because family lawyers, why would a family lawyer help me? Why would a family lawyer help me show collusion within the system, huh? Isn't that how they make their monies? Oh, and that's where they get their farmed children too. I see you. I see you. You infertile cunt. Yes, you. The one who's helping all of us less fortunate women who have beautiful, healthy babies because we have a soul. That's not to imply that a woman who doesn't have beautiful, healthy babies does not, by that definition, have a soul. That's not what I mean. What I mean is Nature doesn't really favor greed and cowardice and a tolerance for human suffering. Nature favors courage and passion and intelligence and empathy, telepathy even. Ability to feel emotion and ability to act on that. That's instinct. Instinct. That's what makes uh, good babies because that's how we uh, all got here. So uh, my lawyer hears from the assistant prosecutor in Jackson County. Oh, he's the one that's been there through the whole uh, bullshit. And uh, says that um, the ex is gonna say that the new wife consented. Okay, well then, I guess his case is made, huh? 
What a ridiculous defense. I don't think that's true. I think that's a lie. A straight up prosecutor style lie. And if it ain't a lie, that is incompetence on a grand scale. Let me help y'all. Consent 101, okay? When you withdraw your consent or fail to give it, it doesn't matter what you consented to before. How about this? How about you work for a fast food chain? I don't know, let's say Wendy's or some shit. Wendy's paid you barely. Wendy's paid you per hour that you work so you consent to work. Well, let's say that Wendy's, when you get there one day, says, we're not going to pay you today. And you say, okay, well, I'm not going to work today. Now imagine that they took you to court, Wendy's. Or even better, you took them to court. And their defense was, she agreed to work for us. We have texts proving that she likes it rough, making her pick up heavy boxes and stand for long hours. Yeah, but not without a quid pro quo, not without an arrangement, an agreement as it were. What did she ever consent to? Irrelevant. I'm supposed to come in? I'm supposed to come in and say, he did the same thing with me, but it wasn't the same because when he claimed that he had consent for certain things. I said so because he did have consent for certain things. If a guy says to you, I dare you to swing over that gorge <laughs> and you say, fuck yeah, and you go swing over that gorge, you did that. You consented. Does that mean that he now can push you off the edge of a cliff? Well, she consented to, you know, jump over that gorge earlier. So I figured that that meant that she was, you know, into gorges and steep falls. You know, gets her off. <sighs> yeah, but when I agreed to it, I figured that <laughs> I would make it over the gorge. That wasn't about me being sexually into falling into gorges. That was about me being up to the goddamn challenge. Imagine if I were a man. Does it make more sense now? Because yeah, us women, it's kind of questionable whether or not we can give consent because If you say for sure that a grown woman is capable of understanding, her, you know, her pussy, the world, gorges, well enough to give consent, then you've just suggested that she can also take it away. And what would the world look like? What would it look like a world where a woman could take her consent away. Very little like it does now. What did I say? 
What didn't I say? What happened to me? Behind closed doors in my bedroom? With my lawfully wedded husband? None of your fucking business. And also it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I didn't press any charges. Therefore, there were none to recant. I never made any statements. Therefore, there were never any to withdraw. I had a conversation with some bitch at a shelter, not even someone who worked there, no. No. And uh, yeah, she was telling me all about how her friendship with the uh, then prosecutor, Jim McHugh, close family friend, was gonna get her some sort of advantage against uh, the husband. That was prosecutor number one, ladies and gentlemen. And then there was two, and then there was three, and then there was four, and now five, and now six. Wow, almost as many prosecutors as uh, directors of CPS. Shame, 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 shame. Well, again, I reject your shame put on me. I reject your victim blame. You know who's responsible? When a man lays hands on his woman? A man. And if a woman lays hands on a child that's She's responsible for that. She, she, shoots, she shoots a guy in the head. Well, you know what? She's the one that did that. Reasons. Reasons exist because human beings do things for reasons. But boys, boys just do shit to be boys. And girls, girls can't tell the difference, right? Suck my left tit. Fuck all y'all. Shove Mayday up your ass. Half of you don't even know what it is. Look up Haymarket, dumb motherfuckers, and boycott Amazon. Because if money rules, then the Lord High Emperor of Evil is Jeff Bezos. Who the hell gives a shit about Joe Biden or Don Trump? Yeah. And uh, thanks for all the help. Thanks. Thanks for all the help. You're welcome, America, again. My heart is warmed by the outpouring of pity. And yeah, thanks for staying out of my personal life. Too bad you couldn't stay out of my personal life back in 2012 when you were judging my sex life well enough to take my infant children off my breast, uh, literally. So we'll see. We'll see. This time, I'll have cash when I disappear. New York Times was looking for me for four months. Yeah. <sighs> You're a bunch of morons, America. I hate you. Oh no, not special. I mean, I love you, but you know, Lose the husband, i.e. government, okay? And we'll talk, because I totally can't deal with that Nazi, okay? So you won't be invited to my parties, America, because I don't have fucking Trump votes in my house. Peace.